So first, let's take a look here. What we have. Number five, it comes up way more in the back. Now we have two decisions on the things that we can do here. We can either make two neon lights, or we can just make one. And since these extras always appear with the body, as on the Infernus, they uh, sometimes don't. We're gonna make just one neon light, and we're just gonna drag the back up to this because, yeah. Number five is stretched way up here, and there's just a bunch of black, and it's hollow on the inside. Turn off that. Turn back on number four. This is the one we're going to be editing with, because this one's bigger. Perfect. Okay. First, let's start it off with some boxes. We're going to just drag number four, the extra number four, way out here to the bottom. Going to turn off chassis. Turn off forks rear, because we do not need forks rear and turn off the license plate because it's not needed at the moment. Alright, time to make a new box. Turn off selected mode, click the box thing, search the box, make sure it's on, uh, check to make sure you've got the right distance and everything, chassis on for a second, 5 is bigger at the back too, perfect, okay. Could not be happier with the results of this. Click once, drag across to how big you feel you want the back of your neon light little thing to be it's gonna be big so make it big and that's a pretty long pole right there turn off extra four select quadra quadra mode that move it select mode on and we'll move it Modify, move a little bit to the left. There we go. Okay, it's good. Now up here, I'm going to drag this way down with the Y axis on, everything else D uh, turned off to the bottom of that. Number five turned on in the chassis, number four turned off. You can see that the top is, uh, the bottom is not visible. So pull that down until it is visible. Okay. Make sure we have enough clearance. That looks good. Deselect it all, turn that off. You can see, wow, look at how much there is there. It's a big pull. Then on number four, you can see that it really sticks down, but that's how it's going to be. Right, now we're going to make a little sphere, just because I like it looking fancy. And this is something I will be posting when I'm done. The sphere. About that big right there. Okay. Turn off extra four. Modify move. Selected mode can be off for this. Move Z. Now move it Y because it's good over here. This is where the neon light is attached to the pole. Alright, good. Now comes the more fun part for me. Quadra. And this is a little bit difficult. But this is where your creativity gets to come in. Select whatever you want right here. Just the top part for me because that will work for the tutorial. Then we will move that in, like so. Deselect these, the inner ones now, because we're getting closer. Bring the other ones on. Deselect those. Bring the rest in. Deselect this one and this one. Bring the fronts in. Oops. 
Got those. Deselect these. Now bring in that. Deselect those. Now put those two in. Bring those three in. Make it perfectly flat. Why not? There we go. Okay. Now in here you can see, oh look at that. A flat ball, sort of. Very good. You can edit that up if you want, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna delete the top. Wait, well I need to delete the top. Let's see. Yeah, okay. For here, this part will be needed just because we want something to cap off the ends of the neon lights and I want this to go quick because this is going to take up a lot of your time and I don't want to waste your time I have stuff to do still And what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to get this into a straight line. Or roughly close to a straight line. There. Alright. Now in here, you can see that there's a ball that's perfectly flat on one side and not on the other. I don't want it to be a complete ball. So we're going to move this up into here. Like so. Now it's a giant stretched ball. Move it down and make the top whatever design you want. Okay, I have a little cap done. If you want, you can also scale this inwards. And then you can scale the rest inwards. So, and if it sticks out too much on the sides in this one, scale th those in a bit. There we go. Look at that. Spectacular. Beautiful. Wonderful. Right view window. Make sure everything works and looks good. We have a air there. Move that one a bit to the side here. There we go. More there. And now everything looks a little bit better. Move that in a bit. Scale it so it's a bit more wide on there. So it's bigger than that. There we go. Neon light has to be bigger than the bike. Uh, than the yeah, the cap has to be a little bit bigger than the light itself, or else. It'll look a little bit weird. Move it Y a bit. Okay, good. It's perfect. Now we'll deselect the cap. Now we'll deselect that. And we'll attach them both. So, we can turn off selection mode. 
I did the long version of attach last time. I'm going to show you the quick version of attach. So click this one. 